Using themes is a great way to customize your website. To select a theme, go to Themes Gallery. Here you can view the latest themes, all themes, or themes by category. You can try out different themes by selecting one and clicking Preview. You can try as many different themes as you like by clicking Try Another. Once you find one that you're happy with, click Apply. For those looking for more detailed modifications, we have the Visual Editor. To access the Visual Editor, move your mouse over Themes and select Visual Editor from the drop-down menu. This tool will allow you to further customize your website by allowing you to modify most of the individual elements of the theme, such as colors, textures, fonts, and formatting. We can start by selecting what section to work in from the left. Then select the item you want to modify from the drop-down menu. Let's start with customizing the background. Backgrounds are customized using two options, a pattern and the color behind it. As an example of this process, let's select one of the available patterns. Next, we have to select the color we want behind it. To choose a color, click on the background color box on the right and select the color by dragging the sliders. Or use your own color by typing a hex code in the box. Once we have selected a color, we can change the patterns to see them with the current color. If you want to have your own image for the background, you can choose the Upload Image option. Keep in mind, if you select your own image, the background color won't show through. If you want it to, your background image needs to be a PNG with a clear, transparent background. In the remaining sections, you can customize the font face, size, and color in each section of your website. For example, let's go to the Content section. Here, you can choose a font, size and color for the body content of the page. You can do the same for the remaining subsections as well. The Headings section allows you to customize up to six different styles for headings. The Links section allows you to change the link color or hover color and whether it's underlined or not. And in both the Menu and Submenu sections, you can modify colors and backgrounds for each of them. It's important to note the visual editor is to edit the entire theme. This means the changes we make here will affect the entire website, not just the page we are looking at. For example, let's change the default attributes for Heading 1. As you can see, the Heading 1 text below changes as I select different attributes. These changes will also affect anywhere on my site that I have used Heading 1. To save these changes, click Save and Close. Now let's drag down another heading. As you can see, it matches the setting we saved in the visual editor. If we want to change the appearance of only one bit of text, we can directly select it and change its attributes from the drop down menu. This part is covered in more detail in the video for using elements. Once again, let's open up the visual editor. Let's say we didn't like our setting for heading 1 and just want to go back to how it was originally. We can do that by simply clicking Reset. Note that the text that we change on its own stays the same. If we change anything else from the visual editor that we don't want to keep, we can simply reset the entire theme by clicking Restore Theme Defaults. This doesn't clear any of your content, such as text or pictures. It only resets the design of the theme. For advanced users who want to create a theme by editing the HTML and CSS code directly, go to Manage Settings, then go to Themes, and click Advanced. Here, you can change the HTML and CSS code directly to create a new theme. Once you have finished editing your code, click Save to save your modified code as your own theme. Your unique theme will appear under the Custom category in your theme selections. Zoho Sites provides an easy way to create professional websites with a broad range of themes as well as a flexible customization option for advanced users.